five years. Our government, under the leadership of Premier Ford, was the first in the country to ban discriminatory Canadian work experience requirements. A move with the potential to literally help hundreds of thousands of otherwise qualified professionals pursue their dreams, all while maintaining Ontario's world-class licensing and exam requirements. Because we believe that everyone deserves a fair shot at the Canadian dream. This isn't just the right thing to do, it's also good for our communities and Ontario's economy. That is why I'm proud to announce today that our government is investing $2.6 million to support four innovative projects that will help more than 300 newcomers, including displaced Ukrainians and Afghans, get the support and job training they need to find meaningful work with local employers. Participants will have access to a range of employment and training opportunities, like on-the-job training and paid internships and work placements, technical training to work in critical sectors like information technology, finance, healthcare, and manufacturing, and tailored supports like mentorship, resume writing, and developing interviewing skills to ensure a smooth transition into meaningful careers. Giving someone the opportunity to find a good job can truly change the trajectory of their life. That is why our government will continue our mission to spread good jobs and opportunity to every corner of our province. Working together, we're building a stronger Ontario that leaves no one behind. Thank you. Now, I'm really excited to pass it over to Samuel to speak more about his experience with Matthew House. And I have to tell you, Samuel, your story really is uplifting, as Doreen says, but truly inspiring uh, to me as the minister responsible for uh, immigration. Samuel, who I don't want to steal his uh, thunder, but came to Canada back in 2019, came here uh, alone and is really creating a, a better life despite obviously challenging circumstances. So Samuel, thanks for sharing your story in advance and uh, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you. Good morning and thank you, Minister McNaughton, for the opportunity uh, to give me to share my story today. My name is Semyon Hurunzidza. I had the privilege to attend the Newcomer Training and Employment Program this summer. First and foremost, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to Matthew House for providing me with the wonderful opportunity to work as a part of their team this summer. It has been an incredible journey that I will forever cherish and I am immensely, immensely uh, grateful for the growth and knowledge I gained during my time here. Prior to joining the employment program, I had struggled to find a meaningful work in a field that I enjoyed. Working at Matthew House has been nothing short of inspiring. From the very first day, I was welcomed here with open arms as a resident back in 2019. I was surrounded by a warm and supportive community uh, that values compassion and grace. And the dedication and commitment I witnessed from every staff member in this organization has left an indelible mark on my professional and personal development. And that is why I'm standing here, because they took my hand and showed me how to pursue my dream here in Canada. Um, throughout the summer, I had the privilege of working with brilliant, mind and kind-hearted individuals. Thanks to the Newcomer Training and Employment Program, my time so far has only given an introduction into Canada, uh, Canadian workforce, but has also taught me uh, invaluable lessons about empathy, resilience, and the power of unity. From lending a helping hand in managing daily operations to actively engaging with residents, I truly totally believe my experience here have transformed me into more compassionate, considerate, and understanding individual. The program has allowed me uh, to figure out the direction I want to take with my career here in Canada, and it has also inspired me to continue helping refugee claimants uh, like myself. As I stand here today, reflecting on the life-changing experience of this program, I am overwhelmed with gratitude, 
uh, for every mentor, colleagues, and clients I have interacted with. The knowledge and the wisdom I am gaining through this program, I want you to know that I am forever grateful, uh, thankful for the positive impact you have made on my life. And thank you once again, Minister McNaught um, and the government of Ontario for welcoming me into your extraordinary community and for giving me a learning experience I will forever uh, treasure. I would like to welcome Mr. McNaught back to the podium. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Samuel, for that uh, really inspiring story. And there are so many inspiring stories here today. And I have to tell you, it's, it's people like Samuel and everyone behind me that's making Ontario and Canada uh, a better place. So thank you for, for everything that you've done. I also want to just take a moment, um, because they don't get uh, a thank you often enough, but I want to thank my ministry team uh, here in the Ottawa uh, region. Uh, in fact, um, Oksana, uh, who uh, came from Ukraine working with our ministry, it's her birthday today. So I want to say happy birthday. Thank you for everything that you're doing, and especially here helping um, Matthew House and, and all these other organizations that are part of uh, today's announcement. So thank you to our team here on the ground. And with that, we can take questions or we'll be around uh, afterwards if you want to talk one-on-one -on -one as well, whatever, whatever works best. We'll now open it up for questions. One question, one follow-up. Can I just get a further clarification of exactly like what the programs will entail, what, uh, you know, how it will actually work kind of on the ground level? Certainly. Maybe uh, we'll have Doreen talk about Matthew House specifically. So we're announcing today $2.6 million to support four innovative training programs to help um, uh, refugees and immigrants here uh, to Ontario. Um, Afghan uh, refugees and Ukrainian uh, refugees are a big part of, of the announcement today. Um, we're opening doors for uh, these new Canadians to find careers in uh, finance and manufacturing and healthcare and information technology where clearly there is a uh, huge labor shortage. But uh, for me, as, as the minister responsible, uh, we're doing this because we want people to have a better life when they come here uh, to Ontario. These people sacrifice so much uh, to get to Canada and this is about lifting them up, giving them the supports, the training uh, for, for good jobs here so they can support themselves and their families. Doreen, I don't know if you just want to say a few words about this specific project here at Matthew House that's really going to help dozens of people uh, on the ground here in the region. So um, when people arrive in Canada, they, they, even when they have the great skills and qualifications, it's always not easy to step into the workplace because there are barriers. There are barriers to having Canadian workplace experience and for our um, residents, our clients, it's a big deal to be able to offer them an opportunity to step into the Canadian workplace and that's why this program is very, very, very um, critical to their integration process. Do you mind just expanding on like exactly how that training happens? Like who comes in? Do you mind just kind of a, a basic understanding of exactly how that training happens? So uh, for our clients uh, that we serve are uh, people who just arrived in Canada, they will be refugee claimants, and they, are, they get a work permit. They have not yet got the workplace experience that they need to start their life in, in, as employed Canadians. So they will be newcomers, that's the big deal. That means we give them that opportunity to find their first job and then they can refer to that in their resume when they want to get to apply for jobs in future. So newcomers is that thing. Thank you. That's great. Okay, we'll be around. Um, <clears throat> we'll be around for a while afterwards uh, as well. So thank you, everyone. Thank you to Matthew House for hosting us and to the three other organizations across the province. Thank you uh, for what you're about to embark on to truly change lives and, and to lift people up. Thank you, everyone.